Oh my god. Oh, far out. Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be reacting to episode 6 of 13 Reasons Why Season 4 and this season is absolutely, positively killing my emotions and is trying to break my soul. The end of last episode, Clay in his freedom of being not a virgin anymore and completely under the influence, influence of alcohol was driving sex car extremely unsafe, lost control, not only of his mental state, but of his ability to drive a car, and toppled the car, and we were left with Zach in Clay's life in the lurch, in the hanging, and at the end of my review of last week's episode, I kind of thought that could, that could be one of the deaths that they're talking about. I hope not, but then anyone who dies, is, I'm gonna, anyway. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Holy shit. Oh no. Okay, Zach. Clay, Zach's alive. He was hurt. Dying. Oh. What was that? And I couldn't help him. Jesus, Clay, come on, help me! Clay! I just figured close range with a clean exit point, probably best to apply constant pressure with a compress. You know, it would really be more realistic for us to deal with a high velocity and high impact. It's likely that we'll actually get shot at our own fucking high school. I mean, wouldn't that make more sense? Must be upsetting. It's awful. Feeling helpless is the worst feeling there is. Tell me why. I mean, isn't that obvious? Let's say it's not. Why is feeling helpless for you the worst feeling there is? Now I know you're worried. I believe in Tyler. I want to. Welcome back. Fuck you. Zach, I... I don't know what happened. Wait, Clay's I mean, fine and... After you crashed my car and ditched me. Oh. I don't remember anything. Saying that everything at the party, he doesn't remember anything so he doesn't remember having sex he doesn't remember getting really drunk he doesn't remember getting high can we just say that that's concerning in itself right he's losing time he's not remembering things that he's done he left Zach for dead this is not healthy clay there's something going on deeper than what they've actually addressed it's kind of fucked up they're making us learn that stuff anyway. Like, I'm just saying, he's like this close to football psycho now. Wow. That wouldn't have anything to do with you and your boys, would it? Not, not to be rude, but like, who are you? Thank you. Hungry. Dean is your name? Or your, or your title? Title. I'm the new Dean of Discipline. Sit. Oh. I was in an appointment. I asked my mom. How would you have done? She wasn't aware of any appointment. She'll be speaking with you tonight. Is there anything you want to tell me about the cameras? Exactly, 9.47. I know a lot, Clay. Get to class. Creepy. Brown, uh, the alumni reps are coming next week. I saw the schedule on Bullen's desk. That, that's gotta be a mistake. I... Well, not unless there's another Clay Jensen around here. I don't know. Holy shit. We are currently moving into a lockdown situation. Code red. This is a hard lockdown. Staff, please initiate lockdown procedures immediately. Students, please do not panic and listen closely to this. Everyone listen up, please. All right, I need some students to help me barricade the doors. You, you, you three, let's go. It's not a coincidence. like he was expecting. He's been buying guns. Okay, stay down. 
Stay quiet. Back in the showers. Away from the doors, all right? Now stay low. Justin, don't you dare leave. Don't. Oh, thank you. Cement walls. And if someone does try and come in here, we we handle it. No one's getting hurt today. No talking. Like, for instance, I thought I helped my friend Tyler after his assault. But now I'm not sure I helped him enough. Oh, not now, Monty. <laughs> Me? Everyone who treated him like shit since he was seven? You of all people should know that. That shit doesn't just go away. It haunts you for the rest of your fucking life. Which may end today. Fuck. Terror actually is. The feeling of sitting here helpless. And death is on the other side of that door. Yes. Yes, what? I'm scared. People always said to call. I love you so much. Fuck. What are you doing? Code red. Shooter, did you not hear the announcement? No. That's what I'm saying. That might actually take the pain away. What the hell, Winston? We're all like isolated. Trying to make sense of it. They usually tell you in advance. If it's a drill. <laughs> Swing at the bullets. Don't be stupid. At least I'm not a coward. So you admit to being stupid. All right, that's enough. <laughs> just um... set an example. Both of you. I just took offense to being called stupid by a recovered addict who still gets shit faced at parties. Hey. <laughs> No. There, there's got to be an explanation. It's not what we think. Or it's exactly what we think. He right. does this. All right, let's just take a second and then we can think about what we need to do. If you're wrong about this, his life is over. And if he goes down, how long do you think it's going to be before we all go down too? And maybe we're all terrified to find out. Other kid, there's, what, a thousand kids at this school? You think Tyler's the first one to think about taking a gun and shooting as many kids as he could before he died himself? Nah, I'm still Team Tyler. Oh my god. Or, or Alex, or Zach, or Justin, Jesus. I bet he'd piss his little pants. No, no, he wouldn't. None of them would. Okay, what about you? What would you do with a gun to your head? I've had a gun to my head. Dared down the barrel once already. Hell, you drove off the road because you're not scared of anything. Oh, far out. Are you a hero? Or a martyr. Maybe I just don't care anymore. You say that, but speaking from experience, you really do. Because once you're gone, all that's left is the shit you didn't do. Or the shit that you did do, but you did wrong. My heart is no. racing. <laughs> Not, nothing's happened yet, and my heart is racing. How did they know though? Like, how did they know to go into lockdown that it was in a possible shooter? <laughs> Tyler. My God, have you been here the whole time? I'm sorry. I was gonna say something earlier, but then I heard you talking on the phone. And I no. You don't need to call me back. I'm being dumb. I'll talk to you. I miss you. I expected quality premium substances from you, fresh boy. You have eaten all of the yearbook snack. Uh, people suck. Your friends suck. I learned that in Burnham Woods. You're talking about what happened with Alex? I give lots of shits. Mm -hmm. I wasn't playing him. I loved him. What? I still do. Yeah? 
What did you love about him exactly? He's like the kindest person I've ever met. Yeah. Wait. Are you in love with him too? 